Hi, welcome back to Your Spiritual Cinema Circle. I'm Stephen Simon, co-founder of The Circle, with a look at the movies for January, the beginning of the year 2019, as we will launch this spring our 16th year here at The Circle. Our feature this month is called Old Fashioned, and here's the theatrical trailer for it. Mr. Walsh, the world wants to know, when are you going to kiss her? So this theory of yours, I'm curious. I don't believe that dating trains us to be good husbands and wives, trains us to be skilled in the superficial. Who talks like that? I do. Shoot the ball. Fact, most people know more about someone after a job interview for uh, delivering pizzas than they do after most dates. Where do you get this stuff from? Why don't you just crawl back onto that cute little antique shop and make up some more theories you never test out at the grown-up table anymore? I ran the upstairs to a girl. Is she a pretty girl? Not my type. How do you know? So help me, man. How come you haven't asked me out yet? If I do, you start breaking things. Okay. I need to believe my life could be different than it was. That I could be different. And how did you do that? And don't even tell me you found Jesus or something. More like he found me. Really? You just packed everything you own into your car and started driving until you ran out of gas. Make a fresh start. Go where the wind takes me. Follow the warm and fuzzies. Life just isn't all warm fuzzies. It's not just all rules, either. If you don't chase after that girl, you're nowhere near the person we thought you were. All I want is for you to tell me how I make you feel. How do I make you feel, Clay? When did treating women with respect become the joke? You want to know what the joke is? I came here ready to forgive you no matter what. You make it sound so easy. You make it sound impossible. Again. Get over yourself, you and your pain. Stop using the grace of God as a brick wall. Our first short of the month is about a racehorse who was very, very successful when he was on the track. And like all racehorses, and like most of us, eventually the time comes that you can't do that anymore and you're going to have to do something else. Well, this racehorse finds something very unique to do, and two people named Ron and Wendy who help him become quite a celebrity for doing something very unique and very unusual. The hint is the title, My Paintbrush Bites. In Lost in Erin Corps, we meet a young woman who comes home from school under very mysterious circumstances. And her younger sister, who so much wants to help her and love her and have her be happy, they create a story together called Lost in Erin Corps. And through that story, they play out the magic and the love between two sisters, one of whom is at a very critical junction in her life, and the other one who learns how difficult it is to wait. In a conversation, we meet two completely different people. You know, they say that angels come into our lives at very, very important places. Sometimes they're only there for a moment, sometimes for a lifetime. In this case, I think both of these people are angels for each other. A professor confined to a hospital, desperately searching to find her daughter. And a young man whose life has definitely gone off the rails, who is a thief, who has another goal entirely when he's in the hospital. How these two people meet and the impact that they have on their lives is actually worth much more than just a conversation. Those are our films for January for 2019. A lot of changes here at the Spiritual Cinema Circle. We hope that you'll enjoy them, and we'll see you next month.